My name is Batu. I am an MBA student at Graduate School of Business. Hi, my name is Sophia, and I'm a current student at Stanford GSB. Hey, I'm Paulina, and I'm a student at the GSB. My name is Jeff. I'm a Stanford GSB alum. One of the main reasons why I came to the GSB was because of my own personal health challenges and my desire to become a social entrepreneur. In my early 20s, as I was working at a really fast-paced startup myself, I started getting daily migraine attacks and suddenly had this aha moment that I wanted to combine my passion for entrepreneurship with this huge problem that affects so many people in my family and across the world. I sort of had this spark in me, and I've come to the GSB basically to, to turn that spark into a roaring fire with the motto of GSB to change lives, change organizations, and change the world. My younger sister has developmental disabilities. Seeing my sister struggle put a fire under my belly to dedicate myself more deeply to the disability space. So disability and caregiving com community is uh, comprised of three different groups. First is really around community, so making space for conversation and uh, students with disabilities to share about their experiences. The second area is uh, around um, academic inclusivity, really working with the different academic uh, departments at the business school to ensure that our curriculum includes uh, voices on disability. And the third is on education and awareness and that's targeting everyone. So that's targeting people who are in or outside of the community, who are allies, who just wanna learn more. You hear it from almost everyone who comes to the GSB that the community and the people and your classmates and the students are just absolutely incredible. And I certainly felt that, especially as someone with a disability. Everyone was always there, whether it was like physically carrying me downstairs, helping me get into Ubers, or really anything that revolved around my disability. Community, my classmates were always, always willing to step up, always willing to help out in just the most incredible way. The GSP community made me feel very included from the beginning, starting from administration to classmate to faculty. My needs were always uh, met by uh, with different accommodations. I think one of the big learnings that I've had in being part of the disability and caregiving community is just how wide of the experiences, what it looks like to uh, live with disability or be a caregiver. When I got to campus, I got connected with the Office of Accessible Education really early on, and they were an incredible resource. Whether it was around housing accommodations, classroom or testing accommodations, they helped me along to get everything I needed to succeed as a student on campus. Faculty has also been very accommodating. Sometimes we have material that's based on graphs. The Office of Accessible Education does a great job in, in transcribing those. Sometimes it's not enough. In those situations, the faculty would always invite me to, the, to their office, go through the material with me, and make sure that I understand uh, what we're doing in class. From the very moment that I came on campus, uh, I applied for academic accommodations uh, through Stanford's Office of Accessible Education, which uh, gave me a wide range of flexibilities that I needed, including extensions on assignments or additional time on tests if I needed to. In terms of Office of Accessible Education, having them take care of accessibility of the course material allows me to spend more time in thinking about learning and social things and, and creating community at GSB. I had like a pretty substantial laundry list of things that I needed to be able to do. Laundry, funny enough, was one of them. Being able to live in a place that is accessible, having an accessible room, having the classrooms be accessible. All of these things should not be taken for granted. And I found the GSB to be incredibly accessible. I think what we're seeing broadly here at the GSB and more kind of culturally, all of a sudden there is more awareness, more intentionality around people who have disabilities. I think that we're feeling some really powerful tailwinds in this, this upsurge and this kind of organic grassroots effort to, if you might have an invisible disability, like 
raise your hand and say, hey, like, I can connect with people who are similar to me. My advice to applicants with disability and caregiving lived experiences is to really lean into what makes you special. The advice I would give to students with disabilities is start early, figure out housing early. Things can take a little time to develop. It's so cool to see what people with disabilities are able to do when just given the right resources and support. I think what really makes me proud of being a member of the disability community is that um, all of us are so freaking resilient.